as a Tea Party patriot, you are indeed a patriot. You see the never-ending annual deficits and ever-growing federal debt, the uncontrolled illegal immigration, the government doling your hard-earned tax dollars in bailouts to politically favored banks, corporations, and welfare recipients, all of whom mock your values. You see big government interfering with your life, causing businesses to fail, jobs to disappear, and taxes to continuously rise. You see all of this and therefore know the government does not represent the people. Nevertheless, you are determined to take action, to have your voice heard and put a stop to it, the stuff of real patriotism. But you must not allow your patriotism to be used against you. You must exercise wise judgment, always on guard and alert to the many wolves in Republican clothing ever ready to pervert your noble ideals for their own selfish ends. Dale Robertson, founder of TeaParty.org, has been warning that Republican-funded organizations are co-opting the Tea Party movement in the hope of harnessing your energy for Republican electoral victories. Victories that may be momentarily satisfying, but that ultimately will mean very little to the Tea Party mission. Carl Denninger, one of the founders of the Tea Party and the organizer of the first Tea Party event back in 2009, explained on his blog, the Tea Party was and is about the corruption of American politics and the blatant and outrageous theft from all Americans that has resulted. It is about personal responsibility and enforcement of the law against those who have robbed, financially raped, and pillaged the nation. Yet today, we hear literally nothing about these issues among the so-called Tea Party candidates and their backers. The Tea Party has become nothing other than the Republican Party stealing the anger of a population that was fed up with the Republican Party's own theft of their tax money at gunpoint to bail out the robbers of Wall Street and fraudulently redirecting it back toward electing the very people who stole all the money. The three unifying themes of fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, and free markets are vague platitudes. Rallying around vague platitudes constitutes a weakness that can and is being used against you. This lack of specificity allows corporate front groups to fill in the specifics, and their objective is to channel your anger at the persecution of anyone who challenges corporate domination of America. As Jim Hightower explains, you must understand that government has become a subsidiary of corporations. So you can't say, let's get rid of government. <laughs> you need to be saying, let's take over government. Big government is merely a byproduct of big corporations. The Tea Party was intended to be a nonpartisan movement. We maintain that you are being made the fool by participation in Republican electoral politics. Remember that political parties were anathema to the Founding Fathers. Moreover, the Founding Fathers established the Constitution by rejecting the political system of their day and working in successful rebellion for its overthrow. Maintaining your independence from party affiliation, you must understand that Tea Party patriots cannot carry the fight against the bipartisan elite alone. Coalescing into a third party would rarely, if ever, garner a majority in any election that would quickly render the Tea Party ineffective and ultimately irrelevant. Hence, Tea Party patriots must do what successful political movements have always done, actively reach out and join together in coalition with an overwhelming majority who share with you a current dislike of the status quo. And that necessitates Tea Party patriots joining together with progressives and independents. Let us remember that politics that seeks real structural change is coalition politics. 
Can Tea Party patriots unite in coalition with progressives and moveon.org members? There's a message in the Bible that speaks to Tea Party patriots at this critical time. I say unto you, love your enemies. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Making that unification easier is the very charitable thought of progressive intellectual Noam Chomsky. These people have very real grievances, and a lot of what they're protesting is pretty sensible. These are people who've done everything right. They're Christian, God-fearing, hard-working, patriotic Americans. They take care of their families, and for 30 years, they've been shafted. They've seen their wages and income decline, their benefits and services cut, their taxes increased. They want answers as to why their lives are so crummy. They want answers, and need them, and deserve them. They're getting crazy answers from Republican operatives seeking to exploit them, but they're not hearing any others. And what we really ought to be asking ourselves is why we progressives are not organizing with these people. Citizens for the Common Good offers the intellectual foundation for a transpartisan fusion of all populace currently disunited throughout our country, who, if united in a grand populist coalition, could take back our country from the bipartisan elite. In our presentations, Citizens on the March and Politics Without Partisanship, we explain why we believe populist unification is eminently possible and how we can quickly go about it. It is not reasonable to expect to get everything you want in a political coalition, but it is reasonable to expect to get a good portion. In contrast, the Republicans will promise you everything, but in the end, they will just throw you a few meatless bones now and then. We do not ask that you give up anything to join our coalition. Continue to work for change within the Republican Party. But when you come to see that your effort has only worked to further degrade America into a third world country, have an alternate plan in place. Under the auspices of Citizens for the Common Good, make a future pledge to a citizen candidate of $25 or more and get a Citizens for the Common Good yard sign, bumper sticker, or button to let your community know there's a third choice blossoming in America. On behalf of Citizens for the Common Good, we hope you decide to join with us because America needs a third choice.